hello, hello. It is Moving with the Cosmos with Blackbird. Welcome to the new moon in Aries. I have my little selenite wand today, a smaller one. It's like a big pipa chalk. Um, and that's what we can do. We can write our intentions for the new moon in the sky. Sometimes I like to draw pictures. <laughs> Sometimes I'll write the words somewhere. But before we start all of that, I want to bring in the energies of the four corners. We've got the east. Come on in. And we have the south. We have the west. And we have the north. Come on in. Thank you to all these energies coming in. The new moon in Aries is very aggressive. So Aries is aggressive, it's the god of war, right? So, you know, you can create a fight stance, you know, it can be some more aggressive things going on. Um, it's also, like I was about to say, the expansion happening with Jupiter and Neptune being the dreamer is all about dreaming big. So we can, you know, write, it's about writing your intentions and really like going for it, so expanding. It's also about the spring that we were just coming out of our hibernation still, so it's like moving a little bit faster now. Things are starting to move a little faster, but also really like taking an inventory of your body and doing bigger movements to kind of get your blood flowing. So I always like to start with a little warm up like that. And as always, I like to clap above the head because the energy sprinkles all around you. And it helps you start to breathe, the inhale and the exhale, right? I'm gonna step back so you can see my feet. Turned out with my feet. And then we're gonna create this more masculine kind of samurai stance. Push those knees open, open, open. Make sure you don't go too low with your booty. You wanna keep like a house shape, right? And if you drop one uh, shoulder forward, make sure your knees stay open over your toes. Just feels good in your back. Oh, sometimes I get to crack my back like that. Yay, so this time is also about integrating your masculine and your feminine. So I wanna do a little bit of like, you know, play with the hips a little bit. So I create this like running stance, a little more hip hop kind of feel. I, that's something I do like about hip hop is that it can be, um, you know, you can do something that's a little more funky and less about femininity, or you can make it funky with a little femininity, <laughs> you know, it can be the same move. So the idea of like elbows and you're leaning, double, and there's that single, single, double, just to kind of make it something fun and in the rhythm of hip hop or add some sit down in the chair next to you. <laughs> boom, five, boom, hey. So we're integrating both the masculine and the feminine idea. Moving a little faster. I want to give you a little shuffling too. It's like scooping, scooping. So watch TikTok, you'll see all of this right now. It's actually much older than <laughs> kids today thinking it is. <laughs> it's like, no, we were doing that. 30 years ago, what are you talking about? So, hop, hop, up, up, and there you go, hop. Scoop and up, scoop and hop, scoop and hop, scoop and hop. And if you can kind of lean back, it gets a little attitude. <laughs> scoop, 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 scoop. And depending on the music, it would be going a little faster than that. But I just wanted to demonstrate it for you. And now roll your ankles out. So if you're like me, I haven't danced a whole lot yet today. You might wanna do that before you go jumping around too much. Awesome. So, hmm, let's see. Hmm, putting your dreams into reality. I think it would be beautiful to start drawing in the air what you see. Ooh, I see. <laughs> I'm ready for some big, big things 
happening. And I'm drawing like a whole bunch of people with me in a building. Ooh. And you'll see why later as it manifests. <laughs> yes. And then over here, I'm going to do another one. I'm just drawing out a whole scene. You can decide maybe it's a word or something that you're doing. Mm. And now, this one has to be a little more than 3D drawing because it's kind of a bigger idea. Yay! Boom, 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 boom. Awesome! All right. <laughs> you can spend all day doing that if you like. It's new moon in Aries. So new moons are all about the unknown because it's the dark moon, but we know it's there, right? So it's the idea of, obviously we always want to be grateful, but just the faith in knowing that some things can happen even if we haven't manifested it yet. So this is where I love to make room for something new. And normally in the full moon, you're releasing and just thanking and, you know, understanding what came and what didn't come, but this is still that building time. So I love like when a plant, a seed is in the, gar in the, uh, in the um, garden, it's under the ground, it's in the dark, right? It's, that's, that's the place where you're feeling compacted and compressed and, and maybe uncomfortable too. So some things might be needing to like, okay, you know, we're gonna start breaking open and starting to bloom. So things like you can start small. I do this with the little kids too, planting the seeds and watering them. And then eventually they start to grow and start to break open. And sometimes that means the shape that you've had is not the shape that you're gonna become later. Like a seed looks very different than the flower that it becomes or the tree, right? So that's okay. So accepting where you are and being willing to expand and shift and change in order to grow into something else, right? And along the way, you're gonna have a journey of different shapes and different feelings and different different external things happening around you too, like a flower is trying to grow and all of a sudden it's hot, it's cold, it's hot, it's cold, it's hot, it's cold. I'm getting that lately, even in LA, we've got hot and cold weather. So we're trying to figure it all out and, and roll with the punches here until you become some, but then it's never gonna be something static, like, okay, now I have arrived. Now I'm that beautiful flower. Maybe you will enjoy that time, maybe you'll enjoy the time all the way through. And then even after that, there's the wilting and the back down into the ground, right? So there's a whole cycle that you can enjoy the time, the present time. That's, I guess, what I'm trying to say. So that's my little gift to you for the Newman and Aries. Um, <laughs> and our, our Jupiter um, Neptune <clears throat> conjunction is April 12th. So I'll have a, I think I'm gonna do a yoga day on that one. It might be on Instagram though. So check that out. Um, it is Blackbird University on Instagram. So you can check me out there. And let's see, we mean business. That's the idea. Happy spring and writing your dreams on the wall. Allowing everything to grow and go with the flow of the spring. Yes? All right. Take care and thank you for watching. <laughs> Remember, you are the magic. <laughs>